enols and enolates are nucleophilic at both carbon and oxygen, but they react with most electrophiles at carbon. One of the simplest electrophiles that react with enols and enolates are the dihalogens, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. The outcomes of these reactions depend on whether they are conducted under acidic or basic conditions. Under acidic conditions, carbonyl compounds are in equilibrium with their enol tautomers. The acid-catalyzed mechanism of enolization looks like this. In the presence of a dihalogen, the enol acts as a nucleophile, donating into the good acceptor orbital sigma star XX, reforming the CO double bond and making a new bond between the alpha carbon and the halogen. A rapid deprotonation by solvent gives an alpha halo carbonyl compound. Ta-da! It's important to note that ketones may have two possible alpha positions to halogenate. This reaction selectively halogenates the more substituted alpha position because that reaction pathway proceeds through the more substituted and therefore more stable enol intermediate. The outcome under basic conditions is a bit more complicated. We begin by the base deprotonating the alpha carbon to make an enolate. The enolate attacks X2, making a new bond to the halogen at the alpha carbon. So far, this is very similar to acid-catalyzed halogenation. But in base, and only in base, we can keep going. Because we've just installed an electronegative atom here, the remaining hydrogens on the alpha carbon become even more acidic. So the base deprotonates again. We get a new enolate, which attacks X2 once again. Now two halogens have been installed at the alpha carbon. If there are any more enolizable protons, we keep going. A third deprotonation gives yet another enolate, which reacts with X2 yet again. We completely halogenate all of the alpha protons. That is, under basic conditions, we replace every enolizable proton with a halogen. In the special case where we install three halogens on the same carbon, something interesting happens. Nucleophilic acyl substitution. At this point, the base attacks the carbonyl group with all those electronegative atoms nearby, it's a very good LUMO, creating a tetrahedral intermediate, which likes to collapse by a lone pair push to kick out the best leaving group. And here, the CX3- anion is a better leaving group than OH-. So, we make a carboxylic acid, which has a pKa of about 5, pretty acidic. The CX3- anion is plenty strong enough as a base to deprotonate this. And we're left with a carboxylate and HCX3. HCCl3 is called chloroform, HCBr3 is bromoform, and HCI3 is iodoform. So we call this the haloform reaction. To recap, under acidic conditions, enolizable carbonyl compounds react with dihalogens to install a single halogen in the most substituted alpha position. Under basic conditions, all enolizable alpha protons are replaced by halogens, and in the special case of an alpha carbon that gets three halogens, the nucleophilic acyl substitution takes place making a carboxylic acid and the CX3- ion, which deprotonates the carboxylic acid to make a halo form.